Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a really fun video today. Um, I haven't seen many of these at all and I thought I'd do a Lush inspired makeup look. So this is the Experimenter Bath Bomb inspired makeup look and I just thought, you know what, why not do something a bit colourful. I mean I've done quite a few colourful looks uh, recently in my channel but I do like doing them. So first of all I'm just taking the Gosh Click and Conceal Concealer to prime my eyes. And then I go in with the Gosh Mineral Powder just to set that one in place. Then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Eyes Like Angels palette. I'm taking this matte bright pink shade on a flat um, eyeshadow brush and packing this on the inner half of my eye, or my lid in fact. I really pack it on and I do the blending out later. I then take some sellotape because I want a relatively sharp edge. Um, so I'm just lining it up with my end of my eyebrow and then I take this blue shade from Kiko, it's the Infinity 274 again which is a matte blue shade and I pack this on the outer third of my eye and then I do go ahead and I kind of wing it out like I would um, eyeliner and that's when the tape really comes in handy because it acts as a um, kind of guideline as to where I should go um, so I definitely recommend using um, tape then I'm going in with this clean brush I'm just very lightly blending out the edges just to soften it but I do want it to be relatively precise um, on the edges then I'm taking this Makeup Revolution um, Salvation Velvet Lip Black in the shade Velvet Depravity and I'm just using this on an angled brush to act as my winged eyeliner. Now as you'll see in a minute, oh I'm just using the Barry M Liquid Liner to very do, do a very thin line to cover my lash line for ready for when I use false eyelashes. Um, but as you'll see on my lower lash line, I do use the opposite colours if that makes sense. So on the other side of the experimenter, it's white and orange, but the white is opposite the blue and the orange is opposite the orange but because I thought that looked a little odd on the eyes having orange in the inner corner and white on the outer I have swapped them around so it's not exactly the same as what the experimental colours are I mean they are the same colours but not in quite the same order but I thought as it is an inspired look it wouldn't matter too much so I'm just taking the Kiko eyeliner in this orange shade on the outer th half and then blending out using this sparkly orange shade from the Isaac Angels palette and actually now looking at it that orange shade is coming off much redder than I anticipated because um, it's actually the experiment is a much lighter orange so this is slightly redder so probably the wrong choice of colour then I was going with my white natural collection um, eyeliner to fill in the rest then I used the Isla Exaggerate Lashes um, as I thought was appropriate for this very dramatic look. And then I just go in with mascara just to kind of connect the lashes to the falsies and then give the lower lashes a couple of coats. But I just thought it was a really fun look to do. I was actually having, it was actually came to me whilst I was having a bath using the experimenter and I Googled I YouTube it and not many people had done it, so I thought it would be just a lot of fun to do this. I'm then taking the Gosh foundation drops in um I wanna say fair or the lightest one they do and using this all over the face. And then I go in that same concealer from Gosh just to Highlight under my eyes and down the centre of my face. I use my Real Technique sponge to blend that all out. Then going with my Barry Am Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit and using the dark shade just to 
lightly contour my cheekbones. As this is a slightly editorial kind of makeup, you'll see later on that I do go quite heavy with the bronzer and the highlighter just to, I don't know, add some shimmer to the skin. As the eyes were quite dramatic, I thought why not go the skin quite dramatic as well, although I do go quite a nude lip. And I apologise if I keep looking off to the side. I'm not going to lie, I am watching Miss Martha whilst doing this. It's a slight guilty pleasure of mine. Um, but then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution, all about the bronze palette. I'm using this shimmery bronze shade, like I said, and I'm really going to town, bronzing up my skin. It has a really nice sheen to it, so it's going to give my skin this real nice glow. As I thought it was quite dramatic eyes, I was going quite heavy on the face as well. So like an editorial kind of look. Then I'm taking the Steek palette, I think this is the lace palette, and um, I'm using the middle shade, which is an orangely, orangely, orange sparkly shimmery shade, again to go with the highlight. Then I'm taking the um, I Love Makeup Goddess of something highlight in the shade Goddess of Faith. I want to say it's the goddess of love maybe, um, but I'll have it down below. And then I'm going in with a Gosh lipstick. This is one of the Velvet Touch lipsticks in 152 Mandarina. It's a really pretty kind of nudey orangey shade. I actually took this with me to Cape Verde and it's a lovely shade to wear. And yeah, pop that on my lids and that is the look complete. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're not. And in next week's video you'll get to see my Lily Lolo video and I know a few people have wanted to see another one from me so next week you'll get to see that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!